Hello, great tough. Welcome back to my lesson. It's the Chopper's Maths of Excellence, sharing with you some of great tough's hardest question under sequence and series. Okay, the question says: Given the following linear sequence two, five, eight, show that no term in this sequence will be a perfect square. So basically, the question is asking you to show them that no term in this sequence, in this sequence will be a perfect square okay basically let, let's start by writing down this sequence and let's first determine the the general formula for this sequence we know it's two five eight so the common difference is three so the general formula we know the formula for the general formula yes <laughs> it's a plus n minus one d so our a is our first term, which is 2, n minus 1. Our d is 3. Okay, we can write it properly. We can say it's 3 into n minus 1 plus 2. This is the formula for the general term in this sequence. Now, we have to show then that no term in this sequence will become a perfect square. So, what are perfect square? We know that 1 is a perfect square. We know that 4 is a perfect square. 9 is also a perfect square. 16 is also a perfect square, up to so forth. So, the, the, these are perfect square. We know these are perfect squares. Okay. From this general formula, from this linear sequence, let us divide this linear sequence by 3. And let's check the remainder when we divide this linear sequence by 3. And hence, we will also divide each of these perfect squares with 3 and we'll check the remainder. If the remainders are different, it means that in this sequence, no term will be a perfect square. But if we get the remainders are the same, it means there might be another term that could be a perfect square. So basically what we are going to do is to divide by 3 our general formula. We divide both sides by 3. We'll have Tn over 3 is equals to 3 into n minus 1 divided by 3 plus 2 divided by 3. This will be Tn over 3 will be equals to this 3 cancel this one we are left with n minus 1 plus 2 over 3 when we divide by 3 our remainder this one is our remainder our remainder is 2 in this linear sequence when we divide it by 3 remember this one is the divisor this one is the dividend, the one we are dividing, the dividend. This one is our quotient. This one is the remainder. And this one was our divisor. When we divide by 3, the remainder is 2. So let's go and divide those perfect squares with 3. And let's check our remainder, the one that will remain after we divide by 3. So, let's go and divide by 3. We know we have 1 as a perfect square. 1 divided by 3. We know 3 does not go into 1. So, there is no remainder here. No remainder. Because we know 3 don't go into 1. So, nothing will be left. Because nothing will go there. Right? Okay. 4 divided by 3. Remember, we are dividing every perfect square by 3 to check our remainder, right? 4 divided by 3. How many times that 3 goes into 4? 3 goes once. And what will be left after 3 has gone to 4 will be left with 1 over 3. So our remainder is 1. There. Our remainder is 1. Okay, let's say 16... Divide by 3. 
How many times does 3 goes into 16? It goes 5 times. What will be left? Our remainder will be 1 divided by 3. This is the remainder. Okay. We can see that when we divide every perfect square by 3, the remainder is 1 or 0. Every perfect square divided by 3, the remainder, we can see the remainder is actually 0 or 1. It's 0 or 1. Hence, when we divide our linear sequence with 3, our remainder is 2. Therefore, this proves that no term in this linear sequence will be a perfect square. Why? Because when the sequence is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. But when every perfect square is divided by 3, the remainder is either 0 or 1, meaning that no term in this sequence will be a perfect square because they, 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 they yield a different remainder. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe for more discoveries. Thank you.